Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to paint this jug. Now this jug I think I got from, from a garage sale about 20 years ago. I'm always hated <laughs> the design on it but it was a good glass jug for serving drinks. Uh, nice and solid. And so I thought well I now have the tools to change it so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to paint the jug now I know if you've been following me you'll know that I've been using the porcelain paints and probably would be a really good idea to do it on this but I'm not going to I'm going to use standard acrylic paints and they're all mixed with flow troll and water to create a runny consistency Let me show you um so it sits on the thing and then when you tilt it it runs off in a continuous stream so <clears throat> how am i going to do this that's a really great question <laughs> um so do, 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 do. what am i going to do where can you see there all right let's let's tilt you around and zoom you in on my little pot now as you can see my little pot has been bent it's an old tuna tin and it's been bent with a pouring nozzle and um the cool thing about that is it's just gonna be pouring out of there not out of a big wide thing so I'll have a lot more control on my jar and oh the other thing I know, I'll tell you that later so I'm going to start off with a little bit of white just in the bottom there just to create a base for their colours to sit on and run from and I haven't put any extra silicon in any of these so that was Prussian blue copper um, deep turquoise and gold oops a lot of gold sorry I moved you um, I haven't put a lot of cup a lot of silicon uh, any extra silicon in these some of them I have used in the past so like the turquoise has definitely got some silicon in it and um, but you know hey you don't have to have cells and if they show up how do we get so lucky just another little double because there's a lot of gold going there first off all right it's rather dark let's lighten that up a bit for you so there I have my multicolored pouring tin and before I start what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white let's tilt you around so you can see the jug I'm going to get my white and I'm going to get a brush and we don't do a lot of brush work <laughs> in acrylic pouring but the reason I'm doing it with a brush is just to get a nice even coat on to the jug just as a base just as a, um, a flow medium really because once I start pouring the colours, I want them to be able to flow down and not be caught up with the... Oh, get a lot of bubbles using this brush. I haven't used this one before. Um, I don't want to get them caught up with the friction of running across the glass. I, but I do want to get nice, even-looking pour. And what you'll notice, maybe 
is there's a ridge in this jug and I'm only actually painting from the ridge down and the reason for that is because I'm not using the porcelain paint it's not going to be covered in resin so just keeping the paint away from where the water is going to be I actually a lot of times use this uh, this jug as a, a vase or a vase as you Americans call it <laughs> um, so there we go we have paint all the way around and I'm just gonna allow it to flow from there so I've got my vase sitting vase vase whatever language you want to speak um, on an upside down lazy Susan so the small piece that would normally be on the table is pointing up and that allows me just to turn it with a lot of control and a lot of ease um, and let's see what magic we can create <laughs> so <laughs> i'm gonna start off by pouring from the handle and then mm, where's my hand gonna be what are you gonna see mm, okay gonna go this way hello paint come on out Come on out and play. Just allowing the paint to dribble very slowly out of the tin. Keeping it below that ridge line. See how that paint is just flowing down quite naturally now. Because that white paint's already there leading the way. Now my trick is going to be to be able to get it under the handle and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Let's grab a little stick and put some under there and then turn it around and come back in from the other side. All right and now I'm going to start going around again. Basically, just keep going until I run out of paint. What that does is it gives it your multiple layers of paint, multiple colors and shades and fun stuff going on. And then let's keep going. Now, because it's on a 3D object, the paint just keeps kind of pouring down until it sets or has nothing else to pour.
starting to regret not having poured white first because <laughs> that would have given me no brush jokes um, Just going to go in and add a bit more paint. So hopefully, I might use the stick. Hopefully pull it down in those areas. And if it doesn't, it'll at least cover what hasn't been covered. So with 3D objects, you're always going to get areas that don't pull down as much as others. That you know, paint pulls into a little stream and just follows that stream down. So you do need to do a little bit of facilitating change of direction. And if you're working on glass like this, you can always poke your nose inside and see where you can see the um, the light showing through the brush strokes And when you're dipping your, your little stick in regularly, you might want to have something to wipe any colour that you get on your stick off before you dip it back into your white. The other thing with 3D objects, you're always going to get runoff. You're always going to have wasted paint, or so you might call it wasted paint. So just stay aware of what you're creating. And obviously the runnier your paint is, the more it's going to just pour down and have less of this effect that I've got going on but you'll also find that the runnier the paint is the more of it runs off and the thinner result you get um, so that's always a choice guys you this when you're painting when you're doing your art you have choice you don't have to do exactly the same as what everybody else does. That's why it's called art, not pattern or recipe. It's creative.
anywhere you've decided you're not creative and you could never do this or do it without a pattern would you let that go please you know why everyone's creative but the more you're willing to be it the more fun you can have and the more the more you're willing to be something the more of it can show up You can never, what was the quote I heard from today? Um, you can never run out of creativity. The more you have it, use it, the more you have to use. All right. I think I've got it all covered. And now it's just a matter of letting that paint that's on there seep down in whatever direction it wishes to go we may or may not still have white on it at the end um, and that's always a fun thing to investigate so I just realized I've still got paint in here hmm what do you reckon should I do another round I'm wondering whether there's enough in there to go another round. Let's scrape down the sides. Because of the flare of the jug, It's, um, the tin can't get on a complete angle. Turn on paint, let him come out. You know you want to come out and play. There it goes. that's just added another layer of color another layer of interest as that flows down okay so dun, dun, you're always going to have ear bubbles and so one of the things i always recommend whether you've got silicon or not is to run your torch over it just to clean up any ear bubbles I probably should have taped this but I didn't so I'm gonna to have to go around and wipe it with a sponge but let's just turn this around here and I'm just far enough away so that the warmth can reach but the flame is not touching the paint at all Starting to see a few little silicon bubbles coming up there. Just really little ones because I didn't add new silicon. It's just um, the stuff that's in there has been well mixed in. You know, it's checking consistencies. So it's spread the. Uh, um, Spread the silicon through the paint quite a bit. But we've definitely got silicon in there, that's for sure. Alright, so Let's get you down and show you close up what I can see down here. All right. So the cells aren't crisp and clean like sometimes you get them. And they're starting to drag as the paint runs down. But I like that. I do like that.
Blum, blum. Bum, bum, bum. This is another reason to put the white paint underneath. Because then if if I just started pouring paint that had silicon on it, then once the silicon ran to the top, if it had been in the bottom, it would then leave a hole in the paint and maybe show some of that ugly fruit thing that I didn't like. So we've got some funky, interesting shapes going on in there. There's a lot of the white is falling off the bottom, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, I'm not sure all of it will. I'm pretty sure there'll be some white left at the bottom. Once it goes around that edge. And that bit under the handle there, there's quite a bit of white there. So I'd say there's probably going to be some white left once it finishes draining. And I'm happy with that. That's totally fine by me. I'm really loving this. Oh, there we go. Got a bit of light for you. It's actually quite dark blue up the top there. I'll see what what's required to get you. A good picture. Oh, that's better. Still not quite showing you the colours. Come on. There, yeah, see that's that's that dark Prussian blue in there. I wonder if I come around this side. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. That's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. I like it. Stay focused, my camera. Some nice cells in there. So I definitely like this a lot better than what was in it, it was in before. And um, I'm looking forward to showing you it once it's dry. Because I'm looking forward to seeing it once it's dry. Alright guys. I will be back. Your time. In three, two, one. Ta-da! This is what it looks like finished and well dry. Um, it is very different than what it was before. That's for absolutely certain. I'm not sure I absolutely love it. Love, 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 love it. But I definitely like it a lot more than I did before. Um, it's shiny. It's got gold. It's got blues and turquoise. And it's pretty. I'm kind of getting the sense that I might end up painting some sort of silhouette down the bottom here. Just to give it something extra and hide these last couple of little bits of white. But hey, I like it. It's definitely different. And um, I'm looking forward to using it in... The coming months because we're coming into summer so juices and things like that it'll be great look you can see my fingers through the bottom do, 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 do. <laughs> so um yeah what could you paint what do you hate at the moment that you'd love to cover up the ugly design and um what else would be possible if you let yourself Or paint all over it anyway i adore you come join us on acrylic pouring for fun and show us what magic you're creating and i'll see you super soon bye bye